Hello, my name is Andre, and in this video, I'll show you how I solved the level three automation and integration mini challenge from the Tableau Data Dev team. You can find the Tableau mini challenges for the Data Dev um, on the website called tableau.com slash developer slash mini challenges. In this video, I'm gonna show you my approach to solving um, the third level. So every week, the Tableau Data Dev team creates uh, level one, two, and three um, challenges. And in this video, I wanna look at level three. So in this challenge, um, which was looking at automation and integration, we had to post a tweet um, when an extract was failing on our Tableau online site. So, what we then had to do was, uh, when the extract is failing, you want the entire community to know. Um, so you're using Tableau webhooks. Tableau webhooks have been added to the product um, a few months ago, and um, they've been super useful because they allow you to respond to events in Tableau server or Tableau online. One of those events is the extract failure, but you can also listen for events such as a dashboard being published or um, some of those other events which um, are very good for, for maintenance and, and kind of updating your user base, what's going on on your server. Now, this is just one example of a use case of um, using webhooks. Uh, often people use webhooks to inform others through, for example, a Slack channel that events have been taking place on Tableau server. You can also, for example, even extract refresh fills add a, um, a note uh, to Todoist or some other note-taking application, or you can create a ticket in a service like ServiceNow. But in this video, I wanna take a look at how I approach this level three. Now, uh, first of all, I am using a free Tableau online developer site, which you can um, get by going to tableau.com slash developer and join the Tableau developer program. You'll get a free site and this one will always be on the latest beta version of Tableau. It's a great way to play with the platform without um, paying basically. Um, and what my approach has been to this one is by using and combining uh, AWS Lambda. Now let me first show you what the webhook is and, and the whole process that is completed. I'm logged into Tableau online here. And what I'm gonna do, I have this very important data source here. And this very important data sh source should never fail to refresh. When it fails to refresh, we need to tell the world what's going on. So I'm just gonna hard code, or I'm just gonna uh, quickly refresh it here. So I'm just gonna use the three dots and say refresh extracts. Um, now, let's do a full refresh, why not? And if we then go to the sites, Status, we can go to the background tasks for S extracts. And we can actually see what's going on. So what it will do is it will actually queue it up if there, if there is a queue. However, it's, it's already been completed. So we can see here um, at the time of recording, um, this one has run, but it has failed. Now, what would have happened is if I go to Twitter and I go to my Twitter profile, and we can already see, whoa, the refresh, oops, the refresh of important data source failed. Let's quickly tell um, Gigi, and Gigi um, have, is part of the data dev team. Let me actually delete this without uh, spamming her too much. So I'm just gonna delete that one, but that's the whole process. So when something fails here in Tableau online, it sends out a tweet. So. How have I approached this? And there are many ways of doing this. You can also use a fully a non-code solution by using if this then that or a tool like Zapier or Zapier. Uh, but I've approached it a little bit different. What I have done is I have used AWS Lambda and AWS Lambda is uh, what we call a serverless function. And that one can run on different types of events. Um, and in AWS, you can have, for example, events that when a um, S3 bucket was created or someone sends a payload to a URL, um, something happens. Now that's also what I have done. Um, first of all, I have created the webhook in Postman. I'll show that in a bit. 
Uh, there's like the create uh, API method, which will send it to Tableau Online. Then the webhook has been created in Tableau Online. And whenever an event happens, it sends that payload to an AWS Lambda function that I've created. Now, what this Lambda function is doing, it is um, calling, first of all, it's calling the Giphy API um, because we obviously want a GIF added to our tweet so people can see a, a GIF of a, a T-Rex. Um, once that has been created, it's going to send a tweet uh, to Twitter. Okay. Um, now, first of all, how do we create this in Postman? Well, if I open up Postman, um, there is a... Um, Post, I'm uh, sorry, a webhook um, kind of library which has been created by Tableau, which makes it very easy to create this um, this uh, webhook. So before, after you've logged in, I'm not going to log in uh, that process and it's for another video. But once you're logged in, um, you can send a. Um, what you need to do is uh, you, it's a post request. You need to give it a URL, and that's the URL of my Lambda function. Um, and we need to give the, the webhook a, um, a name. Uh, we also have the webhook source API event name, which is basically um, the event that you need to listen for. Now, once this has been published, um, you can just hit send and it will create it. Um, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Now, once that has been created on Tableau Online, each time an event takes place on Tableau Online and it is a failed extract refresh, it will send it to AWS Lambda. Now, if I go to, um, this is my uh, AWS console, uh, we have the API gateway, which is which will provide us with a URL. And if a payload is being sent to that URL, kind of a trigger, so you can see Lambda has these triggers. So if we click on, if we, if we get a trigger, then it's gonna execute this webhooks uh, Twitter function. So the good thing about um, AWS Lambda is that you don't need to maintain or manage any of the infrastructure. So you only write the code. So everything else is abstracted away for you. You only have to write the code. Um, scaling out uh, is completely taken care of um, by AWS. And uh, we can see the code here. Um, I'm not gonna talk um, through this in, in very detail, but um, I'm using uh, the Node.js runtime, which allows me to install NPM packages. And one of the NPM packages that I'm using is um, Twit. Um, and Twit um, is a, a package, which uh, means that you need the consumer key, the secret, the token, and the token secret from your Twitter uh, profile. And you can find that in your, in your settings. Um, now, once that has been imported, I also have my Giphy. Um, API. You can see I'm using for all of them um, environment variables, uh, which is highly recommended when you work with um, well API keys um, because you don't want to hard code any of your API keys in the actual code. And uh, what I'm then doing is whenever the event comes in, so uh, that's the payload, I'm parsing it, I'm getting the name of the particular data source, um, I'm also making a request to the Giphy API. So this is an, um, um, an asynchronous um, event that takes place. So we're using async await. Uh, once that has been completed, I'm getting a URL. And that URL um, is being added to the tweet. So how the Twitter API works is that you create uh, what we call a status uh, or a tweet. Um, and this is the tweet uh, that you saw earlier pop up. Oops, the refresh off. And this really depends on what the data source name is. So that um, depends on what's being sent to the Lambda function. This has failed on Tableau Online. Let's quickly tell uh, Gigi, hashtag data def, and um, the image that comes from um, Giphy with a T-Rex. Um, now, um, of course, the API from Twitter is asynchronous as well. So we're using async await again to post the status to um, this endpoint, status slash update. Of course, if there's an error, we want to return the error. Otherwise, um, we want to actually see uh, the response. And then at the end, the tweet has been sent. Um, so that's kind of my approach to uh, this level three 
challenge. Um, I am a huge fan of uh, webhooks. Um, they can give you a lot of power, as if, especially for Tableau site and server admins. You can really inform your end users of what's going on on the server. Um, and I would also highly recommend uh, signing up for the Tableau Developer uh, Program. The Tableau Developer Program, uh, as I said, gives you access to a free Tableau Online site. And that free Tableau Online site is, um, is a great way to learn more about this. Um, you don't have to use anything in production, of course, you can just break it and then uh, delete it again. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.